What is very interesting is that a lot of people didn't find out about the availability of the RP2350 from the Raspberry Pi Foundation itself, but rather through a post from Seed Studio on the blog, which was advertising a version of their Xiao tiny evaluation boards based on the new processor. And while we've already discussed the new processor in this video up here, now it's going to be time to take a little look at what the thing actually does for you. For the Xiao with the Raspberry Pi, we get one of these DHL flyers, which you see here. And one has to be praising DHL here, because if you pay directly by wire transfer to the customs, they don't charge you a customs fee. And yes, here we've got the envelope Seed Studio branded. So we are going to cut into that as well. And now we are going to go here and we're going to look at what we've got. My hands tremble a little bit because there's just so much products to review at the moment. But here we go, and uh, it's time to get it out. And here we see one of these classic packages for the Xiao product family, like so. And yes, then here we see the actual package, which contains the microcontroller. And we are going to cut into it right here. And what is very interesting is we see here the date. This is basically a very, very, very early new product. The actual board is positively tiny, as they always are with Seed Studio. And we see here we've got the board, we've got the USB-C plug, and here at the bottom we've got some additional test pads. And uh, the way here we see this is the new Raspberry Pi version. We see this here. But as I said, this is generally a completely generic seed module. And if we look at it more carefully, we see that we've got two buttons here. Here we've got a status LED and here we've got an RGB LED. And yes, this is a castellated module, so you can either solder it into a PCB or you can put in here a few pins in order to break out the GPIO pins directly. So, and before we power on the thing, I have to ask you for help. Please like and subscribe so that the algorithm lets us grow faster. Thank you. If we switch it on, there is an RGB LED over there and here there is the normal status LED. And via these buttons at the bottom, the reset button and the bootloader button, which are a bit difficult to press while you're on the camera, you can enable the bootloader mode and then you can deploy the software via the integrated USB stick. And in case you get tired of fighting with the buttons, you see here at the back there are pads and you can use these pads to spot solder a button to them and then you can switch it on and off in a much more easy, more comfortable fashion. And with that we finished our unboxing. As in the case of the P4, there will be a second video showing the development environment in more detail shortly. In the meantime, I'm going to be very thankful for your attention and hope to see you again soon.